Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we proceed further in this video, I just wanted to share that this video is going to be the last for this year, that is 2022. So I wanted to wish you in advance a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I also wanted to share that the next video will come after a month that is on January 22nd because I'm traveling outside United States and I won't have access to the setup that I use to record and edit these videos. So I apologize for that. Uh, but like, yeah, next video will come on January 22nd. And if you guys are new to the channel or even if you have been through a lot of the videos, you can go through the entire playlist, the SQL or Python playlist again. You can try to solve the questions again as well because this time, like after you learn certain aspects of SQL and Python, you can, you know, find better ways to do the same question again. So yeah, let me know in the comment section as well, right? If you come up with any better or efficient solutions to the questions that I have already uploaded. So yeah, uh, let's move into the video. So in this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding top businesses with most reviews, both using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Gelp interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. Find the top five businesses with most reviews. Assume that each row has a unique business ID such that the total reviews for each business is listed on each row. Output the business name along with the total number of reviews and order your results by the total reviews in descending order. So basically you are given a data frame called Yelp business and the expected output is a pandas data frame with two different columns, the name and review count, and it should be ordered in decreasing manner and the top five, right? So top five businesses with the maximum number of reviews. So let's preview this data frame called Yelp business, right? So you have a business ID, which is unique uh, name, name of the business business, right? Neighborhood address and all that, then the number of reviews, right? So basically what we need to do is we need to group by the name, right? Group by the name. And then from this uh, column called review count, you need to sum them, right? And then order in a decreasing manner and only keep the first five, right? So what we can do is from this data frame called Yelp business, let's group by, right? So let's group by the column name right and we want that as a column so we need to write as index is equal to false and then from the column called review count right called review count we need to calculate the sum right let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it right so you have different names and review counts right now we want this to be ordered in descending order right so we write dot sort values right dot sort values by which column review count in descending manner. So we need to write ascending is equal to false, right? Let me run this again. Uh, okay, so now we have, you know, different names, different uh, business names and the total number of reviews. And then we only need to keep the top five. Now there are various ways you can do it. You can use the dot lock method. You can use the I dot I lock method. You can use dot head because this is a data frame at the end, right? So you can use dot head. Uh, it will give you by default the top five rows, right? You can even use the n largest, right? Like whatever suits you, uh, like the easiest is to just, you know, keep the top five rows. So what you can do is you can just say, okay, start from the zeroth index and go to the fifth, but exclude that, right? So it is going to be zero, one, two, three, and four, right? Now let me run this. So now if you look at it, you have the top five businesses with the maximum number of reviews, which is exactly same as the expected output. Yeah, so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. So if you look at it, right, uh, the question is same. Uh, the expected output is same as well. Uh, if you look at the table yield business, again, same information. So what we need to do here is again from this table called yield business, we need to group by the name column, right? And then you need to return the name and sum of the review count column and then alias this as review count, right? Alias this as review count. Uh, and then you need to order by review count in descending manner, right? So order by review count in descending manner, right? And then we only need to keep the top five, right? So we write limit five. 
okay let me run this let's see what we are getting so yeah if you see our output is again same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was you know from this uh, data frame or table called your business we grouped by the name calculated the total reviews right so we calculated the sum of the review count column alias this as like whatever was required ordered by the review count and descending order and we limited the number of rows to be five so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you again in 2023